Good afternoon. My name is Karen McMahon. I'm a lecturer in mental health and my background is in mental health nursing. I have extensive experience of working primarily with children and young people with eating disorders. I'm going to take you through the section of the document, Framing the Journey of Care, and I'm going to look at early intervention. Why is early intervention important? Well, we know the sooner the intervention starts, the better the prognosis. Harm accumulates the longer the eating disorder is left untreated. In anorexia nervosa, prolonged starvation damages the structure and the function of the brain, making recovery more difficult. We know that behaviours and cognitions become increasingly established and more resistant to change as time progresses. Why then is early intervention so often a challenge? Well, we know that eating disorders by their nature are associated with denial and ambivalence. Often those most ill are most resistant to seeking help. This can delay recognition and delay help seeking. Currently, long waiting lists for service further compound these difficulties and intervention happens too late in the problem life cycle. What do we mean by early intervention? Well, there's actually no universally agreed definition. Evidence suggests that the first three years of illness provides a critical window for recover, recovery. This is particularly the case with anorexia nervosa. It does appear that from re recovery from bulimia nervosa with a longer duration of illness is more achievable. What does this mean in practice? Every effort should be made to treat people with anorexia nervosa within three years of symptom onset. While there is less urgency in terms of physical risk and brain changes to intervene when individuals are at a normal weight or above, it is of note that delaying treatment potentially damages trust and motivation and increases the drive to lose weight that is often so central to the illness. Freed is the first episode rapid early intervention service. It's a service that's been developed by clinicians and researchers in order to promote a model of early intervention. The model is developed to provide early engagement and intervention for people in the 16 to 25 year old age group with an illness duration of less than three years. To date, there have been two follow-up studies of 56 patients and these have demonstrated excellent uptake of treatment within the FREED model, 100%, compared to 74% in the treatment as usual group. Part of the early engagement protocol is that the person receives a phone call within 48 hours of referral in order to promote engagement. One year follow-up of the FREED group showed significantly improved eating disorder symptomatology using the gold standard questionnaire, the EDEQ. At two year follow up, those who had been in the FREED group were more engaged with treatment and were making overall better progress. There was improved weight restoration and a reduction in need for inpatient care within the FREED group. So what does that mean for us here in Scotland? The recommendation is that the cost of developing a service like this should be balanced against the cost of patients becoming more entrenched in their eating disorder and requiring longer, more intensive treatments. A pilot of an additional freed service to complement existing eating disorder services may be considered. This would offer early intervention to young people in the 16 to 25 year age group with eating disorders of less than a three year duration. Thank you very much.